I, first then there from Now Spinning Magazine with another episode of Chart Watch. In fact, this is episode 10. So I've been doing this now for 10 weeks. So in Chart Watch, we look at a couple of um, artists from the album chart in the UK and then also look at some new release news that you might find interesting. And the main focus is looking at the mix down between or the mix between CD sales and vinyl sales. Um, because I know a lot of people are interested in that kind of stats, which you don't really find elsewhere. Now, what I do here is not do exaggerated thumbnails with me looking puzzled about CD sales or doing clickbait based stuff like that. I believe that all formats exist harmoniously um, with each other. So I buy vinyl and I buy CD. So this isn't, um, you know, this this weekly video series is not about saying what format is better than another but what i try and do is realize that a lot of what you see in the press is saying how well vinyl's doing or dramatic vinyl sales and you know cd cd uh, commentary is usually about the fact that no one buys them anymore or you might see so as i said some clickbait stuff saying don't get rid of your cd collection just yet they're on they're on the way back so this is not kind of clickbaity or alarmist it's just giving you facts uh, and and i think you know for those of us who do buy physical me media music whatever format i just want to give to share uh, my knowledge and information as, as i as i get it and this is a weekly weekly show so let's dive in so we're in week 44 now as we look at the uk album charts and last week was dramatic because we had taylor swift go straight in at number one with 204 thousand sales and as i'd said recently to get to number one in the album charts could take anything from 19 to 22 thousand and you're in but last week was obviously incredible and and there was 76 thousand cds sold for um, taylor swift's new album and vinyl was 61 thousand so yeah cd was ahead but physical media was massive now this week she's still at number one and that is also really unusual because what we've recently seen is that albums go in really high and then they just drop out um, the following week or they literally just tumble, you know, within two weeks they've gone. Taylor Swift is still number one in the UK. And a lot of people are interested to know is that if she was, how is she going to compete against the Beatles with the reissue of Revolver? Well, she's ahead. But the makeup of what's made um it number one for the second week is different this week last week it was all about physical media this week it isn't yeah. as i said last week's sales of midnights were largely, largely physical but this week's sale equivalent streams is thirty four thousand one hundred eighty seven units so the single biggest contributor to the sales was streaming now cds for this week for taylor swift's second number one position were 8,232 um, which is 17% of the overall sales and 4,000 vinyl albums so CD was 50% higher than vinyl but streaming obviously was it was was higher digital downloads were 1,685 and cassettes were two two cassettes sold last week for for Taylor Swift's new album now, I said Abbey, no, Abbey Road, Revolver by the Beatles is at number two. This is an expensive box set depending on what version you bought. So to get to number two, it was 20,931 sales units. 11,561 were CD and 5,832 were vinyl. 836 were digital downloads and 2,700 streams. So CD again was a lot higher than the vinyl, but that was bound to be a physical base release. Um, so that's really good. Um, the other people I wanted to look at were, because this is really good. Number six is a, a brand new entry by a band called Massive Wagons with their album Triggered. And Massive Wagons are a Lancashire based rock band and they are brilliant. Um, you know, check out some of their videos and their, their music. Uh, and it's great to see guitar driven rock uh, by new bands and new artists in the UK album charts. 
Yes. And this is their sixth album and third chart entry and the second top 10. And it's their highest charting album to date with 7,132 um, units sold, which got them to number six. The Foo Fighters are at number 10 with Essential um, Recordings, which is 5,916, making their 12th top 10 album. And Paul Weller, who is our, he's featured in the new edition of Record Collector, he's got a, a new album out, and this has gone in at number 15 with 4,427 sales. The only thing I want to add to this is that physical product, vinyl, CD, and cassettes, or whatever, Accounted for 360,604 sales um, in this week in the UK album charts. That was 17.38% of the total album sold, which is very good because it's been going up from 10, 15, and now last week it was 17.38% of sales were physical albums. Fantastic. So now it's time to look at new release roundup news. So we have Black Sabbath, I've mentioned on this channel a couple of times, the Heaven and Hell and Mob Rules Deluxe Editions. I'm hoping to get hold of a vinyl copy to, to show you. Um, Nightwish, I've got Human 2, and that's coming out in two CD and Blu-ray disc, Baby Metal, who I've been asked to cover on this channel before. I might do in a future date, because I know they have such a fanatical fan base and they're releasing uh, an album on the 24th of March 2023, 10 separate CD variations. Wow. Um, we also have, um, coming up, we have Anathema with a uh, concert from September 2011. That's coming out on CD and Blu-ray disc as well. And then we have also um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, which is live at the Fillmore 1977, which is a 33 track, two CD, three LP, deluxe, 58 track, four CD box. Um, that comes also with three plectrums. That's coming out soon. Um, Fairport Convention, unissued from live at Rock Palace, CD, DVD from 1976. That looks good. Humble Pie, I've mentioned before. Del Brummer, guitarist with Stray. He's got an autobiography coming out soon, um, and, I, and I like I really like that band. And I've been asked to cover Stray as well, and I will do. Um, Ultravox, Rage in Eden, 40th anniversary, 45 RPM LP and clear 4 LP set, um, 5 CD, DVD, A, and a Stephen Wilson mix as well. Night Ranger are releasing an orchestral album, uh, orchestral show rather, and that'll be interesting. I think rock music lends itself to um, live, live gigs with orchestras perfectly. It really, really does. Uh, Rival Sons, I've mentioned them before. And then over here on my other list of things I just wanted to mention, David Crosby and the Lighthouse Band Live at Capitol Theatre 2018. Um, that looks good. Um, what else have I got? Mentioned obviously Rush Moving Pictures, 40th anniversary Super Deluxe Edition, 3 CD, 1 Blu ray disc, and 5 LPs. John Entwistle, Rarities Exhumed, Volume 1. And um, the Ormond Brothers, Baron Live at Syria uh, Mosque, Pittsburgh from 1971. Mm, that sounds interesting. And I think then the only other thing I've got here is, oh, the new stuff, uh, Hellstrom Back From The Dead Deluxe Edition on Atlantic Records. I've got to quite look at that. And there's a Journey live album, live in concert at the Lolo Palooza, two, C two CD, one DVD set, and a Blu-ray out on Frontiers soon as well. So that looks good. So that's, that's where we are with this week. And thank you for watching and thank you for supporting um, the chart watch series of videos it really really means a lot and um, and again as I say at the end of all my videos please stay safe please keep playing that music dial back how much exposure you get to the news thank you to all my patrons especially Yogi, Clive, Chris and Andy as I say take care music is the healer and the doctor and I shall see you on my next video